Welcome, welcome to the lovely late HP show with your 5D mystic enlightenment soul age group woo woo pseudoscience lady. But I am a functional adult and I'm your lovely podcast host. And these ones are for the community because you know how it works. When people become part of a community, they're curious to hear what messages we have, especially for my mystics. Okay, so the difference between 5D mystics and anyone who's not in the 5D. So one, they're not Christ consciousness, and uh, you'll notice they're spiritual bypassers. So I've looked it up. I don't remember it because I don't do well with regurgitation of information, but what you can note is they're AKA maladaptive child behavior people. That means that they're the teenage version. That's how we're gonna equate it. Okay, so any person who's attachment and trauma informed for real because they care about you know, personal development, so to help you to become yourself, that means, yeah, you, yourself, so the other part, when people don't want to be their self, what they don't realize is they have a shame, defectiveness, heartbroken three-year-old, I'm a divine feminine, so I usually will notice eventually that something's up, and I'm just going to treat you like a Cusco, and I'm a Pacha, though, so I won't do anything, just going to accept, respect, and love you. Now, here's the deal. That's one of the reasons why, one, those of us who are 5D mystics don't have sagas with our twin flame or flames. In fact, nobody can control your brain. Nope, only you. Uh, And if you do not apply the three pillars of the mind, mindfulness, focused attention, awareness, and then, uh, oh wait, kind intention. Yeah, so when you're telling a squirrel story in your brain, Those are maladaptive children. So when they're having their nightmares, I have plenty of Claire's active for a long time. I didn't get destabilized. I didn't get lost. Thank you, Jesus. I was very much uh, on track. Blessed are those who believe without seeing. Check. You're a human. I'm a human. Uh, If you ever meet evil, I already knew. Thank you, God. Humble. Don't cast a stone. If you have faith, what does it mean? It means I'm not going to be afraid because... That will mean that I accept the fate that you gave me, which is, if I present to you evil, what are you going to do, Maria? Well, I'm supposed to fall in the footsteps of your son, of Jesus, right? Because he came so that we could climb up the ladder. So it was really straightforward. As a 5D mystic, I'm even more, well, wait, I'm in the Enlightenment Soul Age group. So I've moved beyond the spirituality belief systems. And when I got out of the 4D bandwidth. I never was really in it, but when it did happen, what that equates actually, thank you Patrick McNamara, is a lot better if you learn from Patrick McNamara how our brain works. And I haven't started reading it yet, but the decentralization of the self, the religious self. So when we have dreams, and he's looked into a lot of the brains of shamans and people like me, mystics, And I haven't gotten the opportunity to get a hold of him because he's a very busy man. And what I was in my brain thinking when I wrote, because I was hoping that he would reply to my email. But then I was like, you know, Maria, it's kind of like your hairdresser. He's going to get a lot of people writing him and they're going to make a big deal out of something like, you know, hair. But, you know, it's not a big deal because they're experts. What do experts always do? It's something simple. Like with me and emotions, it's simple. That's why I'm like, you can be yourself. Look, emotions, they're not lift. I'm not lifting anything heavy. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to point out. I have a whole three old heart. So thank you, Jesus. It was easy for me to follow the path of forgiveness because yes, the past happened. Nothing's going to change. And your maladaptive child behavior is for you to tend to. I got taught by my mother not to be other people's mothers because I'm a nurturer, a divine feminine. We are always going to nurture, not just sometimes. And on tomorrow's episode, we actually talk about that, which is something that we're going to touch upon here. So 4D, spiritual bypassers, also people who could make really good use of a therapist so they could become emotionally mature, but they have to want to do the emotional lifting. And when you share with people attachment and trauma information, as they're going through what is called the human suffering love narrative, They bring to you what I call drama kings and queens on Elsa's journey, Pinocchio with ears and a tail, Cusco, who doesn't even, you know, until the end. And even at the end, Cusco still doesn't know how to tell Pacha, I love you, Pacha. 
I want to live right next to you. You know what? I was wrong. And, you know, it's easy for a whole three-year-old heart to say I was wrong. I actually did that. And I do that whenever I am wrong. And I'm not trying to be right. But <laughs> if somebody points out you're wrong and I do recognize that I'm wrong, like, yeah, you know what? I am wrong. <laughs> but then there are other times where I'm like, well, you're not really right. <laughs> but I can be flexible, adaptive, coherent, energized, and stable, and I can turn my perspective around and notice what you're pointing out to me, and I can look at that other angle. So I'm going to use, when a good divine masculine comes your way, it's because they know the divine feminine's language, and so that's why we dance a tangle. And that's because, though, they're both people, doesn't have to be man or woman, it's just two people that come from the opposite end of a spectrum, and they figure each other out, <laughs> which means they care to hear each other from both sides of the brain. And so we know, oh, look, we're creating intimacy. Yay, because nobody's a friend. Nobody's afraid of making a friend. And nobody's afraid of being in a relationship. That's what happens when you know how to be intimate with your own self, which means I get to be me, you get to be you. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you're divine masculine or feminine. If you choose to be intimate, it's because you choose first here to not lie or bullshit and, you know, act passive aggressive and basically be, you know, like an Eeyore. So anytime I meet an Eeyore and they're all Eeyores, drama kings and queens to a person like me, I'm always on a high. Ask me what I did today. I loved. Ask me what else. I loved again. And I love when people say, the ones who smile are depressed. No, some of us aren't. Uh, we actually actively work with our emotional plane. As I said, what do people who know how to teach do? <laughs> they know how to do what they teach. I know that I don't do emotional lifting. That's why I'm in the Enlightenment Soul Age group. I don't have laundry. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. And now I have to call God Akash and consciousness and relational field. And I'm okay with that because, you know, 3D, they can't handle uh, education information, like the fact that yoga does not bring demons out of you. I will keep on repeating that one because seriously, somebody who doesn't learn about Peter Levine and about trauma charges or doesn't believe in it. Again, I'm okay with being woo-woo mystic here. I'm, I'm even okay with them using all those other names. So like theologians with Reiki. I got word of it already. I had gotten word of it from a 4D mystic friend of mine or 5D mystic friend of mine, I forget, or a couple of them, because I got 4D and 5D mystic friends. And then I got word of it through an email. And I was like, wow, I mean, I knew that this the day would come where you would decide to try and make it look like Reiki was something that is not good, but really? <laughs> and then when you see uh, people with cloaks saying that people need something to believe in, and you're actually pointing a finger his spirituality guru and I'm thinking what do you think you are because you talk about something that's invisible in the sky don't you notice the similarities I mean really you're not going to notice that you're doing the same things <laughs> so when a person's using both sides of the brains I can do all of it but yeah the fact that yoga brings demons out of you that's just plain ignorance and that's because you're not attachment trauma informed like when said guru, I love the man, I love the man, but he's, you know, being interviewed by Joe Rogan. There was such a good moment in that interview where he could have used what Joe asked him to say, you know what, Joe, actually, I know a thing or two about what you're talking to me about. I know that yoga can help people with addictions or with all of that childhood trauma stuff because it's a ventral vagal portfolio of nervous systems. Oh, and mindfulness. It is three pillars of the mind that helps integration. And that's because your hippocampus, prefrontal cortex, corpus callosum that connects your left and right mode, and the interconnected connectome, they all get to be worked on, and, work, and that's the very same areas that are affected by childhood trauma. So had Sadhguru taken psych education seriously, he would have been able to do way better with all the sciences people. But here I am, the human translator. And we're running out of time, so I won't have storytelling time, but... When you have divine masculine, divine feminine, it's a really good combo because we actually come from ends of the coin and we both and or more want the same thing, which is human expansion, evolution, to be a herd like Diego, Manny, and Sid, but we're all the Pachas. So the healthy self-worth, 5D relationships, mystics, and not come on over. 
Let's have fun. Leave the Elsa journey, 3D, 4D people alone. They're, they're going to have fun in their own way. They're not going to believe the neurobiology, neuroscience. They already decided. They're like, no, no, but we're not flat earthers. They're like, okay, I'm the woo-woo lady. So I'm cool with that because pseudoscience over here, spiritual, spirituality, and human elements. So aka restorative embodiment. Let's come be love together and have fun. Have a great one.